together a pretty fun idea for dinner here. Starting off with some good old green giant fresh golden potatoes. I pick them up. People always say, where do you get those at? I get them at Costco. So you can pick them up at Costco there, your local grocer. And then what I'm doing is slicing them into about half inch slices so that both sides are flat because I need them to be flat because we're going to use them as a base for our chicken, believe it or not. So into their own little separate bowl, which I'm going to, you can drizzle with a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna use some vegetable spray because I have quite a bit of oil in there from the previous ones that I did. And then sprinkle them with your favorite seasoning salt. Give them a little toss around so that they're nicely coated with it and, and seasoned. And that's basically going to be the base for our chicken dish that we're putting together. So we're gonna have a, get a parchment paper lined baking sheet over here and put those right on top of there. I've sliced up a red onion. You can use a yellow onion. I'm simply using one like this, a red one, because that's what I had at home. So I'm just gonna use those. Take out those toothpicks and then you're going to actually insert the toothpicks into the potato and the onion to create essentially a base that you're going to then take your drumsticks and set on there. The drumsticks, I did the same thing that I did with the potatoes. I tossed them with a little bit of cooking oil, seasoned them with my favorite season sauce, and there you have it. You're gonna take them then on those two pieces of uh, toothpicks and voila, stick them on there just like that. It's kind of a fun thing to serve them like this or you can take them off. So they're gonna fall over in the oven too if that's the case, it's no big deal. But the idea is you're gonna get these nice and cooked up so that the chicken fat drizzles down onto those delicious potatoes. So Ron, I'm gonna keep working in here cause you know I'm slaving away over a hot stove. And we'll finish it up when I come yeah. back. I don't know anyone who works harder than you, Chef uh, Brian. It's true, unless it's Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay might argue with us on that one. <laughs> well, she always tells us she's the hardest working meteorologist in America. I know, I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm into the kitchen now, Chef Brian. Oh, well, thank you. That would be really impressive to see that, Ron. Yeah, I'd love absolutely. to. Absolutely, I'd love it. Let's just go. Let's just go this weekend, Ron. We'll go check it out there. Let's finish up these fun little ideas with some drumsticks and potatoes here. I have the ones that we made earlier in the oven right now. As they cook, the potatoes are going to soften. They may kind of tip a little bit. That's fine. So I did two different ways here. I did one standing up and I did one on the side. If the potato is too thick, they will tip also very easily. So a little thinner cut on the potato allows them to stand up a little bit easier. So I'm gonna serve these with some corn on the cob. This is my wishful thinking for summer coming along here. A little corn on the cob is gonna go there. And I actually make my own baked beans here. I can them. Um, I make the, the liquid portion of the baked bean and then add it into the the jar and pressure can them up and they're just as good as like the commercial baked beans if not better for sure. So I'm gonna serve these on the side and of course you can serve any side dishes that you so desire to serve. And so these ones have cooled off enough obviously to where I can handle them and I'm gonna serve them here. And here's one that I showed you that I put lying down so that it would, if it tipped over, it would be fine. And here's another one that's kind of standing up, kind of fun little serving there with some potatoes and onions and baked beans, a little corn on the cob with a sprinkling of your favorite seasoning. I'm actually gonna use a Southwest fajita seasoning on that. Oh, how good will that be? A little fresh butter on that, and you've got some great corn on the cob, which, by the way, was on sale when I was over there to the supermarket Smith's this morning. Head on over to KUTV.com. You can also go to cookingwithchefbrian.com for the recipe. This is really fun on the grill, too. You can do these right out yeah. on the grill. So. Ron, I've got some uh, chicken for you back here yeah, in the kitchen. That, that looks sensational. I think Lindsay's gonna like it too. You're just really overdoing it. I know. I must. I must really love you. That must be <laughs> right there. I feel it. As the hardest working chef in the industry, right? Yes, we know that. Hear Lindsay laughing in the background. <laughs> All right, Chef Ryan. Thanks. Uh,